Ninguin means none. So click on that Ninguin. 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 <laughs> I guess that's how you say it. I don't know. Hola amigos, bienvenidos. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in. Muchas gracias, mi amigos. Uh, simply a la hora. Man, working on my Espanol. Man, 2024, I gotta work harder on my Espanol. But guys, thanks for tuning in. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And uh, today we're gonna talk about the e-ticket. That's the e-ticket, the electronic ticket. If you're coming into the DR, if you're coming into the Dominican Republic, or the Republic of Dominica, or if you're exiting, you gotta fill out an e-ticket online. And so, what is the e-ticket? I'm not really sure what it's for. I think it's that the country counts how many visitors that it has come in um, annually. Um, this country is very proud of how many visitors it has and tourists in the tourism department. Man, they will let you know how proud they are of the numbers. I think they're the, uh, this country is the number one tourism spot in the Caribbean. So yeah, they're proud of it. And like I said, you have to fill out one when you come into the country and when you're leaving the country. So you have to fill out it. Twice. So you have to fill it out twice. Now, I think you have up to one week prior to your um, arrival time to fill it out. So you want to fill it out a few days beforehand, fill it out. Go ahead and get, get it out of the way. All right. Now, when you fill it out, make sure you're like doing some screenshots. You're saving some stuff. You're printing some stuff out because uh, you're going to need it later. So like your confirmation number, your QR code, you're gonna need to screenshot it just for later, just so you have it in your phone, just in case anything happens. But first of all, let me mention that the e-ticket is absolutely free. It is absolutely free. Uh, there are some websites out there that says that, you know, it, it charges or whatnot. Do not pay for it, do not pay for it. Do not put any of your information out there on these websites, it is free. Now, the website I suggest you go to is Go Dominican Travel. That's GoDominicanTravel.com. And when you go there, you're going to see a, a little sub a clicker there that says E-Ticket Application. You're going to click on the application button. And once you do that, it's going to take you to another website. And that website is E-Ticket, like, um, Migration, uh, like, E-Ticket Migration, something like that. And once you get on there, you're going to have an application code. Make sure you screenshot that application code or take a picture of it or something. Have it in your phone. And also, I think in the right corner, right upper corner, you can kind of se select which language you want the website to be in. So um, if you speak only English, you want to go up there and click English, Espanol, uh, whatever the language you speak. So go up there and click that language so you can read most of it. So on the first page, they're gonna ask you for general personal information, your name, address, where you're from, stuff like that. They're not gonna ask for any kind of social, nothing like that. And this is gonna be for the main passenger, the one who's booking it, the one who's over it. If it's a group of y'all, if, if it's your family going, um, it's gonna be whoever's in charge of that. It's gonna be the first person filling it out. Once you finish yours, you can add other people on. And you'll definitely need your passport number for each individual. They're gonna ask you about your civil status and your civil status is if you're married or single, something like that. So the words might not trans, uh, translate uh, to English if you're doing it in English, but it may, not, it may not translate. So you might have to do a Google translator or if you have a translator, you might have to do a translator to see exactly what they're saying on some of this stuff. They're going to ask about your occupation. And so I think that one, you might have to translate it because uh, it might be in Espanol still. So you might have to translate that part. Uh, but yeah, they ask you about your occupation. Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, they put a lot of effort into this. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, they're gonna ask where you're leaving from. It's called embark embarkation. It's where you're actually leaving from to come to the DR. So you're embarking to go to the DR. You're embarking to come to the DR. So. Uh, what airport are you leaving from? ATL, is it uh, JFK? Is it uh, BNA Nashville? I don't know. Is it Charlotte? I don't know Charlotte's, but. <laughs> um, 
what airport are you embarking from? Then it's going to ask you, what airport are you uh, disembarking from? Like, which one are you unloading at? Where are you un unloading at? So um, most people are going to disembark at PUJ. That's the Punta Cana's airport. So most people would put PUJ or SDQ for Santo Domingo. So there you go. Embarkation and disembarkation. Airports. You're going to need your flight number and your flight confirmation code. So you're going to need your flight number that you're flying in on. Um, if you got a connecting flight in the U.S., um, they're not asking for the first flight. They're asking for the flight that's actually bringing you over to the DR. So flight number, then you'll need your confirmation code. So you might have to go in your email and dig it up and find those uh, particular uh, numbers and codes. They're going to ask you, why are you traveling? What's your purpose? They're going to ask you, what's your purpose? Um, and then it's going to have a click down so you can select what's your purpose. And you might have to translate that also. So... <laughs> But most people are going to put like uh, recreation. They're going to ask you how many days are you staying? Yes, how many days are you staying? Are you staying for a week, two weeks, two months, two years? Um, <laughs> they're also going to ask you, do you plan on practicing certain things like golfing, ski boarding, surfing, uh, <laughs> skiing? I don't know. They're going to ask you, are you planning on practice any of these things so most people just put no it's going to ask where are you staying it's going to ask are you staying at a hotel airbnb your own house family and friends camping i don't know it's going to ask these things where are you staying then once you click where you're staying at if you click a hotel you're going to have a drop down aisle you'll be able to type in your hotel you're staying at and uh, choose that one um, if you're staying at your house or someone's home uh, they're going to ask for the address. They're going to ask for the province, municipality, and the section. It's the province, municipality, and section. <laughs> now, that throws a lot of people off. It throws me off still. But the province is more like, uh, if you're in the States, if you're in the States, it's more like um, the state you're in. So, for me, it'll be Alabama. But not here. But it's kind of like the state, the county, and the city. So the province is the state, municipality is the county, the section is the city. And you might have to do some research and find out exactly which one you're in. Like, what's the province? Is it La Alta Gracia? Is it La Alta Gracia? La Alta Gracia? Which that's where Punta Cana is, and that's where Baibe is, and La Alta Gracia. La Alta Gracia. Man. La Alta Gracia. Gracias. Gracias. La Alta Gracias. La Alta Gracia. I'm getting there, man. <laughs> so you can click on that. Then it's going to have the municipality. You have to find which municipality it is. I know in Bahia Bay it is San Rafael. San Rafael. De Juma. But I know Punta Cana is something different. So just to give you a heads up, you might have to, if you're not staying at the hotel or if you're staying at the hotel, I've never done one for a hotel. So I don't know if it's gonna ask you that. It may still ask you, even though it should already know, it may still ask you so. There you go. Then I know if you're staying like at your own place or at a friend's place, it's gonna ask you for the address to the house. And man, <laughs> uh, it's not like back in the states where you got your address is um, I'm 1200 uh, Main Street. It doesn't have your typical address on most places, so it may just have a street name. Like I'm on I'm on the street Genova. I'm on street Jose. So we normally just put a street name on there and let it ride. We we haven't had any issues with that. We we normally just put the closest street name that we can find on the map. And, and let it ride. But like I said, most places don't have a traditional address. Like most homes don't get like mail. Matter of fact, I've never seen a mailman. I've seen uh, DHL and I think FedEx Express, maybe UPS also. But yeah, so just put a street name on there. You should be good. Now, once you completed all this, 
you're about finished with yourself, then you can add another passenger and go from there. So it should be pretty easy after that. Add your party. Make sure you're saving the confirmation code. Make sure you're screenshotting the QR code they give you. All this stuff screenshotted because I've had it where we've had two people on my ticket and the other person could not get on. They had to fill it theirs out again at the airport, like right before the plane's taking off. So just screenshot everything and be prepared. Uh, if you have to do it again on your phone at the airport, just be prepared that you might have to do it again for some reason. There's no, to me, there's no real rhyme or reason on how this thing works. Because sometimes, like one time we were, we weren't, like one time we were not asked to show any proof that we did the e-ticket. But most times someone asked us either at the airport, most of the time is at the first airport that you arrive to and you're leaving out. Um, so like we living from Atlanta and going to Miami, we were asked at my um we were asked at atlanta to show the qr code and i had it saved i just picked up my my phone with the picture on it of the qr code they didn't scan it she just said thank you and the same thing with my wife show them the code we could <laughs> we could have shown the same qr code <laughs> there's no way they could have tell the difference in that so i'm not really sure the whole rhyme and reason they just verifying that you got some type of code or you you made an attempt or something like that so like i said the country is very proud of their tourism they're very proud of the numbers how many people the the records they're setting and breaking like seems like every year more tours are coming and they're very proud of it they're very proud of it so uh with that tourism and all that money hopefully some things can get improved in the country but <laughs> that's going to be for another uh, another show but beautiful country, they're proud of the tourism, they're proud of the beaches, they're proud of all these things. So um, I hope that helps somebody out with the e-ticket. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Tu eres mi amigos. Tu eres mi amigos. Te amor. Hey guys, hit that like button. Subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff. And guys, remember, watch out for coconuts. Peace.